we're going to be talking about how to use a rec and rec to decompose numbers or to show combinations that we find within numbers. When we use a rec and rec to decompose, we actually use it differently than we use to show a quantity. When we're doing um, decomposing numbers, I actually want to separate my reds and my whites. So I'm going to push my reds all the way to the left and my whites all the way to the right on my rec and rec. Of course, your rec and rec is going to have those strings in the middle, but the visual that I'm using today doesn't have that string. So let's say I wanted to show quantities of four. I'm going to show ways to make four by pushing together those beads in the middle. For example, I can make four by doing one red and three whites. So that's one combination of four, and so I might write down that number combination. Another combination that I might use to make four is to do two whites and two reds. And so I could write down that two, two reds and two whites make four altogether. Another combination that I might use is actually to do three reds and one white and then write down that combination as well, except this time as a teacher we might talk about, wow, we just had three and one, and that's the same thing as one and three. It's the same quantity thinking about that commutative property. If I wanted to build larger numbers on my rec and rec to decompose, let's say a number like 12, I would actually use both of my racks. And so if I wanted to build 12, the easiest way for me to think about 12, I always think about 10 and 2. So I'm going to push 10 together. And then I'm going to just do two in this way. I'm going to use one red and one white. And so all together I have 12. Another way that I might make 12 is actually to take away a white, put it to the side, and add another red. So I might actually say seven reds and five whites make 12. And so I can use this rec and rec to show and model different numbers.